Okay, so here's the outfit that I'm going to be wearing for a date night. And it's um, a dress that I got at Route 21 in a size extra large. It has um, spaghetti straps. And then it has like where it crosses over, like a wrap kind of. And then it has this tie thing. And the tie is really thick. I like that. It's like really thick. See that? And then it has like this wrap. See? And it's sewn. And then it just goes like this. And this is the way it looks sideways. And I'm wearing my tights. And my shoes are, what is it called? Carlos Santana. And I got them at Ross. I don't know. They have a bunch of shoes like that. I have like about three pairs that look almost the same. And I always wear wedge. Well, actually, I'm lying. I always wear flats. But when I do wear like a heel or something like that, it's going to be a wedge. And then like the front of the, of the wedge is like this thick. So you subtract that from the wedge in the back. And I'm walking on something that's like really low instead of four inches. It's probably like two inches. So again, this is a dress. And again, I mean... I don't get anything by trying to tell you to go shop there. I'm just trying to give you alternatives because a lot of times plus size people, and I know some people are going to tell me why you keep calling it plus size. And I keep addressing it because they say that extra large is straight size, meaning like um, it's sold in a regular store. It doesn't have like plus size 1X, 2X, 3X. But because I am a girl that weighs 258 pounds, I am a plus size woman. As a matter of fact, in the chart, it says that I'm severely obese. So these are the tights from Walmart. I, like I said, I have a couple of these. Um, I like them because they're extra long. And when I buy the ones from like um, other stores, they're usually like Capri. And I'm about five six, five six and a half. So this is the way the dress looks. That's the pattern. This dress is really pretty. As butterflies. That's something I probably wouldn't wear. But I mean, all together. Sure, my outfit of the day and. You know, again, like just go to different stores and try stuff on. I hate that. I used to hate that I would go to like a store and there was never anything for me. And I know I lost some weight, so I was like, you know, heavier. But I think I was at 291.7 or something like that. And right now I'm 258.3. I actually gained like three ounces. And, um, even when I was that size, I would still go to these stores. And you're probably saying, yeah, it barely fits you now. No, I would wear them, and they would just be tight, but I would still wear the tights under. Back then, I think I did have to wear the tights because they were so under. Like right now, I could wear it without the tights, but where I live, it's really windy, and I'm sweating because I'm under the light because um, it's kind of like the clouds outside. So, again, just try out any store. Um... Like, Kohl's has a lot of clothes that you can fit into. And you could even be still heavier. And if you have smaller boobs, you can even fit in some of the stuff that I can't fit into. I happen to have a big belly. And my back, it kind of curves in. So my, I don't have a lot of back fat. I have big arms. I have big legs. Now, my arms and legs are going down, but not my stomach. My stomach, the biggest part, is still 50 inches. And it'll probably stay like that. Even if I lose 20 more pounds, it's still going to be 50 inches. My stomach is always the last to lose weight. My arms will lose weight and my legs will lose weight. And they'll still be big, but they'll lose inches. But not my stomach. My stomach is always the last thing to lose weight. And then I'm wearing this ring that my husband gave me a long time ago because it matches. But um, I just wanted to share um, my date night outfit. And thank you for watching. And I enjoy your comments. And until the next video.